Hi, welcome back to another Chris EV Road Trips video. Today I'm going to look at a few interesting things. Uh, we're going to try and do some free modifications on the car. So um, it requires a bit of elbow grease and a bit of muscle. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and make the mag wheels look um, much better than before. With the BYD Addo free wheels, they have a plastic insert on them and they look like this. And on the back, they're held in by two bolts. So we're gonna try and remove these and see what it looks like afterwards. And um, in order to do this, we have to take the car wheel off. And this car is really heavy. So I advise if anyone wants to do this, I bought a 1600 kilo jacket. It just lifts the car. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a job that yeah, if, you're, if you're not, um, if you don't wanna buy a jacket and stuff, yeah. Just do it when you replace your tyres or uh, when you do your tyre rotation, maybe you can ask the, the tyre shop to do it for you instead of uh, breaking your back. So, um, all right, I'm just going to get started now. So we're going to uh, jack up the car. Just wanted to pay our respects to the director on the set, Coffee. Do you want me? Okay, so we've made sure that the car's uh, safely in parks. Uh, we're going to put something behind the back wheel just to make sure the park brake stays on. Um, this is a 1600 kilo jack on a piece of timber so it can slide when the car lifts and under the car heel you'll see where the jacking point is. And that is the jacking point. Okay, so looks okay so far. Um, before we tip take the wheel off the ground we're just going to remove the caps and if you've had a look in the boot of your Addo Free you're going to have one of these and they remove the caps and you just pull them and they so these these bolts have the yellow uh, markings for the part for the torque setting so I just want to reproduce that so I'm just going to label the the studs and then the nuts. Two, three, four, five. And I'm going to use my my trusty assistant here to take off my wheel. Nut. So I've got Philip here from Germany. He's going to help me with the uh, get the get the tire off because my back's been killing me. And, uh, and he's got more muscles than me, so he's gonna he's gonna do this. So. Have you ever taken a car tire off before? No, Philip? never. Really? Before. Wow, there you go. Oh, some, he's got to learn something as well. Uh, I forgot to mention I'm going to start a, a, a Shopify shop and I'm, I'm just going to start with um, struts, gas struts, and frunks at first, but I'm going to maybe put a few things up that I think people might be interested in at a really good price. And I can even ship worldwide to Germany if any Germans are interested. So, Philip, uh, take it away. What's, how do you say that in German? <laughs> Check the video description out, there findet ihr a link to the shop. Or you can oben in the search list ein BYD Parts Australia .shopify.com. And yeah, that's ein like da bei this video. So if you're interested in looking at my shop, you can check the link below. And I'll, I'll, I'll try to put some interesting stuff up there and try and give a few bargains to anyone who's uh, an early subscriber. Thanks. I'm just going to jack the car up off the ground. Well, so uh, so I just explained. So if you're going to take the nuts off, you have to have the car on the ground because otherwise the wheel spins. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can take them off now. So we've... That works. Anti-clockwise. Uh, this is a 21 millimeter spanner. Against the clock? Yep, it's very tight. They're very tight. So, so. All right. Okay. Show you. I'll show you the way I do it. I'll do the first one, and probably, yeah, it depends on your position. I put my hand there, mm -hmm. and then I, I just do that. Yeah. So that's that one done. You can do the rest. Oh, I'm not that. I'm not that weak after all. Okay, yeah, then done. Done. 
my back's been uh, hurting me doing this, Philip. So <laughs> that's the very good position. So, awesome. And all of them done. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so Philip's gonna, we've jacked up the wheel now. So, and I've marked the studs with the numbers. So we're gonna take off the first bolt. So if you wanna take one off, Philip. And I wanna get the correct uh, torque setting when I put the bolt back on. So I'm gonna actually put a number on the bolt that corresponds to the stud. So when we put the wheel back on, we put the exact bolt on the exact stud and it should line up with the yellow yellow line that's on the bolt to okay. get the correct torque setting. It. All right, so you can do the next one now. Oh look, maybe it's got a number one. So I'm just gonna write over here, one. And I'm gonna do that for all of them. Mm -hmm. Number two. And number five. Okay, now Philip's gonna take the wheel off, so just give it a, yeah, that's it. Oh, look at that, perfect. So, yep, and then, yeah, don't make it look so easy. <laughs> okay, just, uh, we're just gonna put it down there and the other way around. And we don't wanna scratch the, the frame. Yep. Okay, so this is what the inside of the wheel looks like and two, four, six, eight, ten, ten bolts to remove to get the plastic cover off. So Philip, how was your first tire change? A bit dirty, <laughs> but good. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, you gotta be really careful with tires. They're very dirty. So um, yeah, if you wear gloves or something like that, you won't get as dirty. But uh, thanks for that. And uh, I'll get you to put it back on and then you'll be an expert tire changer if you ever break down. Perfect. <laughs> Um, for anybody who wants to buy one of these little adapter sets, I recommend this one, Detroit. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's high quality, but you're going to be paying a lot for it. But it's going to last 20, 30 years, so it's good to get a good set. All right, so now I'm just going to... Probably not a very good example this one as you can see over uh, here the curb so I was rushing a bit and didn't realize the cameras will actually if you go close to a gutter the cameras will actually come on and you can avoid that accident by watching the camera but I was rushing too much and the camera didn't come on fast enough okay so that's what the wheel looks like without the inserts and I think it looks pretty good so here's the uh, Addo Free with the rear wheel off, if anyone's interested. This brake's not that big. And the sway bar linkage is just inside, so if you wanted to put a bigger sway bar on, you can just do it from underneath without taking the wheels off, which could be easy. And there is the battery pack. Sitting there. clean and I think it, I think it looks better but we've got these stud holes here where the studs go through I'm probably going to put some little cap in there or something maybe that'll make it look better and well we got the wheel off god I didn't realize wheels were so dirty my god I should have worn gloves so while we got the wheel off we might as well just give it a good clean um, it's definitely going to be a lot more maintenance when it comes to um Keeping your mag wheels clean because you're going to see all in here. So let's clean it now. Just using a, a baby wipe. So before I put it back on a car, I'm just going to hit it with some of this um, silicon spray or some something to stop the dirt attracting to the metal. So I'm not going to buy anything fancy. I've just got some Scotch Guard left over. So I'm just going to spray that on the inside and hopefully the dust. Um, won't go on the wheel as much. So, okay, it's ready to go back on. Now we're just going to put the tyre back on, Philip. All you have to do is line up the top stud with, with one of these ones, and then the rest should fall into place, providing the jack hasn't gone down. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, okay, the jack's gone down, so I'll, I'll just jack it up a bit more.
Do it again. One, three, five. Okay, well, thanks for uh, changing my tire for me. So now you're a fully uh, qualified uh, tire changer. Thanks so, for having me. <laughs> okay, no worries. That's always. So this is what it looks like with the uh, pl plastic covers taken off. I think it looks better, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like the cleaning or not. But uh, I'll give it a try and see how it goes. Okay, so we're just going to head head to Manly for lunch, and we're just going to use ABRP. And um, here's your, we're not in Android Auto, so we're just in the normal graphics. And I've so loaded ABRP here. They probably don't like this, but that's the, the benefit of side loading. So, um, uh, so we're going to go to Manly. There it is there. I'm going to put that in set destination yeah right so this is the screen you need to be on so we're going to set our battery percentage it doesn't know exactly where we which percentage the battery is because there's no communication between abrp and the car unless you've got the um obd reader and you pay for premium so we're going to move that battery percentage to 80 percent just by sliding this bar okay so around 80 percent and now we're going to do the calculation. So 3% battery. First. Okay, and now we're going to go. I'll just put that on the wide, wide screen. Okay, so it says we've got to get to man. We have 80%. Now the beauty of this is that if you're doing road tripping, it'll, it'll actually graph the, the height and what do they call that? The... Uh, yeah, the topography of the land. So we're going, so we're starting here, we're going down to Roosevelt Bridge, which is a big bridge, and then we're going back up. And so the top will be 150, and the lowest will be, we're going to the sea level, so zero at the end. And this will actually graph the whole usage of your trip according to the stats. And if your percentage is lower, if, if you watch your battery percentage, if you're way below this line, then you're using more battery and if you're doing long road trips, that's important to know because you may not get the three, 350, 400 Ks that you think you're gonna get. But if you watch this graph and, and align that with your percentage on your battery, you'll get your 350, 400 Ks, whatever you wanna get on your road trip. Okay, so we're halfway to Manly and ABRP is the blue line. It recommends, it thinks, um, shows the average usage. So we started at 80, we're going to finish on 77, and we're just a little bit under at the moment, so we're right on target. So, yeah, so if you're doing a road trip, this is really important that you stay on your line, otherwise you'll run out of battery. We're just going to go, we're just going to leave Manly, and we're going to go back to Chatswood, so it says we're going to use 4% battery. So we're at 73 now, so we're going to end it with 69, we'll see how, and then it's going to make the graph for us. So do that. Uh, there's the graph. Okay, so so we just basically okay. So that's the that's the geography. That's just a bit above sea level now. Starting and then we're going to go up, and then we're going to go back down to sea level again, and then we're going to go to 100 metres above sea level finish at the end, so 73% to start with and 70%. Let's see how, and we'll just, we'll just do it on the way so you can see. What do we see here? Okay, so here we are here. This is the predicted line, is the blue line, and we're just below it. So 70.5 and we're almost home. So we're just gonna go up this big hill here. This and to get up to back up to here, then we don't have any um, big drops or big gains. So we've got 0.3 left. So I don't think we're going to make it all the way back with 0.3%. Let's 
percentage points, but we'll see how we go. So we just actually we just passed the big hill. Uh, oh, at the water level down here. So now we're climbing. We're just about to climb back up. So it's about three or four hundred meters behind us. We're actually halfway up here at the moment. So and we'll just do the reading when we're home, and we'll see how far off it is. Okay, so now we're on 69.8, where so we're a bit below predicted. The good thing about using ABRP when it's sideloaded, you've got your full use of your air conditioning, so you don't have to talk to the car. Alrighty, so so predicted 70%, we're going to arrive with 69. So it is a bit out, sometimes like 20% out. So if you're 20% out, um, using more on a long trip, if you're 20% below the estimation, you're going to be in trouble because your battery's going to run out a lot faster. So yeah, that's why this line is really helpful. Okay, so 69.6, and what have we got here? 69%, so it's pretty close what we arrived with, and it predicted 69, so yeah, it's not that far out. But yeah, I'm, when I do a long road trip, I'm definitely going to use this because um, in, in general, I, I, I don't use too much battery, but if there's a strong wind or something like that, I could be down here somewhere on a graph. So, oh, and if I'm down there on a graph, I'm going to run out of battery. So this is a protection for me not to run out of battery. So I have to try it one day, see if it's really true. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.